The geometry of cinema has changed dramatically over the past 15, 20 years by going to rake seating. And no one has approached from the sound system standpoint of really developing a speaker for that geometry. What does the audience and the room demand of the loudspeaker? This 200 series is JBL's latest screen array development. Paul's approach to speaker design is really looking at what is the appropriate speaker coverage for modern day cinema, and then designing a speaker to that. A screen loudspeaker, which the C200 series is, has to put acoustic energy through a vinyl sheet that's perforated. Well, that means it requires a lot more high frequency energy produced because all the high frequencies don't pass through the screen. So dual dissimilar first allows us to use two high frequency drivers instead of one. To create further degrees of freedom in design, dual dissimilar ring was developed as a means to use interference patterns, which line array technology has been using for years, but line array technology utilizes a lot of drivers and is very expensive and gets large. Dual dissimilar arraying uses only two devices. And what that does is allows us to shape the directivity pattern specifically for what the room is requesting of the loudspeaker to do. And architectural shaping is never kind as opposed to what a normal balloon shape would be acoustically. In cinema, 15-inch woofers are sort of the staple. But 15-inch isn't optimized for two-way because you have to use the 15-inch at a frequency higher than it's really optimized to use directivity starts to collapse. And many, many designs just ignore this. So one way to do that is what we're calling our LF aperture waveguides. And they actually float in front of the driver in the plane that we're trying to make it work. And in this case, that's the horizontal. So they float in front of the driver, partially blocking the driver, and make just the center section of that driver appear to be the radiating surface. We wanted to bring new technology, sculpting the speaker coverage to the geometry of cinema, which no one is doing. And we see a real opportunity by doing that, being able to deliver better sound in smaller rooms at lower cost. My challenge to the team that was working on this was, these two ways should perform to the level of a three-way. And let's see if we can get that challenge and achieve it. And so I'm very proud of the C200 series.